pandemic brought Indy's tourism to a screeching halt. Now, two years later, the industry is beginning to return despite inflation costs and even high gas prices. CBS 4's Mike Sullivan joins us now in our studio. And what can people expect to see downtown in the coming months, Mike? Will be somewhat of a little bit of a blast from the past. There are several annual conventions that are returning. Visit Indy is expecting those mainstays to see attendance levels similar to 2019. Let's be clear. There's less restaurants than uh, the start of 2020. In fact, all the restaurants you see right now are closed for good. Labor continues to be uh, number one on the uh, uh, challenge list. Yet the tourism industry as a whole is returning with new spots replacing the old. The Sugar Factory opening up shop. Hotel Indy opening up its doors. Chris Gall is with Visit Indy. We're at about 90 to 95% recovered from this virus, and that's measured against 2019 levels. In August, Gen Con is expected to return to pre-pandemic attendance levels, with the Indiana Black Expo soon filling downtown, aiding in Indy's growing hotel occupancy levels. We're in the top quartile nationwide, uh, punching well above our weight class. Indiana Restaurant and Lodging Association President Patrick Tam says youth sporting events at Grand Park have helped maintain occupancy levels, especially during those hard to fill weekdays. They're throwing off the equivalent of room nights of major convention centers throughout America. This coming off the heels of last year. In 2021, Indianapolis was the busiest convention city in America, period. That said, Downtowns nationwide continue to struggle as workplace routines change and suburban businesses reap the benefits. A lot of people are staying closer to home. They're in a hybrid schedule. Uh, going out to dinner at 5 o'clock on a, on a Monday is part of the deal now. Making the tourism rush downtown even more vital to its health. Well, the Indiana Restaurant and Lodging Association says normal business travel rates weren't expected to return until 2024. Now they say those projections are aiming for late 2023. Back to you. All right. Thank you very much.